suicide, the act, the ideation, even the word is often avoided. To help prevent it, let's start a conversation. How should such a scary subject be worded? Current advice recommends being direct, so say the word suicide, be candid. Other terms may be taken out of context, like doing something silly or having dark thoughts, which might minimise or mock in their subtext. One suicide survivor said she'd have been less distraught if she'd known the types of help that can be sought, that getting sectioned is only used as a last resort. If worried about how to give someone support, ZeroSuicideAlliance.com's website has courses online that are both helpful and short. I watched three videos which gave me an insight how to approach family, colleagues or strangers if I am worried and want to check they're all right. Other things we can learn from suicide survivors. One told me after he shared his feelings with his partner that when he reached out, it brought in help from others. Some non-verbal signs which act as indicators, changes in sleep, low mood, rapid weight shifts, these might suggest suicidal behaviours. Pay attention if someone starts taking risks, seems distracted or socially withdrawn, things at odds with their normal characteristics. Other things to look out for which might warn the giving away of prized possessions, anger, substance abuse can be cause for concern.